You can hide here if you want, but you have to promise to be quiet. We should be all right if we whisper. It's a good place to hide. I'm the hide and seek champion. Mummy said so. She told me not to get too excited about the party, but I couldn't help it. It was the first time since we moved that we'd had anybody around. All the costumes. I thought my zombie mask was well better than Jodie Smyers. Mummy bandages, don't you think? Oh, and all the sweets and the bobbing for apples. And my mum dressed up as the devil. Everybody said she looked great, but you could see her legs. <laughs> I didn't think you could see the devil's legs, but maybe you can. <laughs> they had a special drink for the big people, a punch they called it. Darren Ryerson dared me to try some, and I did, but I spat it back in the bowl. <laughs> it tasted terrible. Darren said I was disgusting, and, I t and he went and told my mum. But I think he's a disgusting one for daring me to drink it in the first place. <clears throat> Most of us played hide and seek up the stairs while the music went on downstairs. I won. Even though it's my house and I know all the rooms, it's not that big a house, so it's not unfair at all. <clears throat> That's when I found this place at the top of the wardrobe. You have to climb on the side, you see, and, and use the little handles. I think if you were bigger, you might topple it. Uh, but we should be okay. You just have to stay up here and not make too much noise. So try not to shiver too hard, okay? A and don't cry. You're not crying, are you? If you cry, he'll hear us. I think he's up to about 60 now. He's counting slowly, but still. I don't know what happened with the big argument. Lots of people left. Somebody said something about dad, and uh, mum didn't like it. This was just after I saw that man in the garden. I thought it was someone out having a smoke, uh, but they were hiding behind the shed. I couldn't make out their face. I, th I thought it might be Dad, but we haven't seen him for a while. I, I meant to tell my mum about it, but I forgot because of all the shouting and arguing and all the doors slamming. I was hiding in the kitchen recess and Matthew Townley caught me really easily and then we all ran up the stairs so that I could have a turn. Then that's when I heard the people screaming downstairs. There was only my mum, my grandma, uh, Mrs Townley and you left. They'd been playing silly CDs like Thriller and the Monster Mash and things like that. So I thought it was part of all that. But then the music got cut off, and, and that's when I, I heard my mum calling out to me. I didn't go downstairs though. I didn't like the quiet. It, it happened all of a sudden. Uh, mum came up uh, and someone had spilled something on her, her devil suit. Uh, I wonder if it was Jamie Bryce. He was dressed up as Dracula and he'd been ask, acting really, really silly after all that punch. But she told me to be quiet and, and she gave me a hug. And whatever she'd spilled on her dress, it was nice and warm. But it got cold when she let me go. She, she told me to go and hide. And I said I knew a place. And, and up I went. And, and I found you here. Lucky for us, hey? Mum's lying on the floor now. She, she didn't move when the man in the pig mask uh, and the knife came in. He told us to come out, but Mum said not to move. So we didn't. Okay then, you two, he said. Do you remember? I'm going to count to 100. And when I get to 100, I'm coming for you. He, he started counting. 
but he was moving around the room as well, looking for us. And that's cheating. He, he stabbed the bed, and then he swung the knife underneath the bed. He thought we'd be under there, but we weren't. We're up here, on top of the wardrobe. It's cold up here now, and the house has been quiet for ages. Apart from the sound of, of him stomping about and swearing and, and opening cupboards. Mum's still asleep. I think she had too much of that punch. I don't know if it's Dad behind the pig mask. Uh, it could be Dad, but it doesn't sound like him. The voice is different. Maybe Dad's not well. Or maybe it's Mum's new friend, the one that I haven't met yet. I haven't seen Dad for a while, not since we moved house. Mum said he was away on a, a job or, or something. really quietly now. I think I can hear him in the room next door. I don't know what that crashing sound was. It might have been the matching wardrobe, the one in my room. I think it fell against the wall by the sound of things. And then on the floor. Oh, now he's tearing out the drawers. What? Run? Oh no, I don't think we can run. We, we might be able to get out the window. Are you good at jumping? Oh, I think you might hurt yourself, though, if you jump from the window. If you hurt yourself, you can't run away. Not much of a game, this, is it? I don't know what he's going to do when he catches us. We have to be quiet, though. If he comes back in here, we can't even breathe. So we have to hold our breath. I can hear him now, and he's counting. He's counting. He's outside the door. I think he's laughing. Quick, hold your breath. Don't make a sound. 98, 99, 100. Thank you.